Hi guys, how are you doing? So I get asked this question quite a lot on how do I become a better developer, right? So I have been mentoring and guiding developers offline for quite some time since I've been running my tech companies. And very recently, I've also started creating YouTube videos like this on um, teaching uh, technologies on YouTube. So I've been teaching online as well. So now a lot of people have started asking me this question on how do I become a better developer or what's the secret sauce or what's the path on becoming a better developer. So from my experience, um, from what I know and what I've seen, it comes down to two things, right? Uh, and it's the difference between these two things that determines how good a developer that you're going to become. And uh, the two things are exploration and exploitation. Now they're very important concepts and you'll always have to keep this in mind if you uh, you know want to supercharge your career. So exploration basically is um, you know exploring new things and exploitation is knowing what you know but now exploiting it to get what you want, right? So um, so first let me explain to you these things properly and then uh, we'll discuss on how you know you can apply these to actually getting uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, getting better uh, at development. So exploration basically means learning new technologies, doing a lot of feasibility checks in the sense, will this technology will work with this technology, right? And building a lot of POCs with the new tech stacks, right? Building actual working products. Uh, they may not be fully functional production grade ready products that people are using, but like POCs that you can show on GitLab or GitHub and show to uh, people that you know you've built this new POC with this uh, new tech stack and uh, exploration also means that becoming a polyglot and become, becoming platform agnostic when I say polyglot I mean that you can work with multiple different uh, languages uh, programming languages like Rust, Golang, Python, uh, Ruby and platform agnostic uh, in, in specifically in, the, in this case I'm talking about uh, you know working with uh, being very comfortable with AWS or um, Google Cloud or Ada, uh, or Azure, right? So platform means the cloud platform. I'm talking about the cloud platform here. So if you if you um, you know spend a lot more time in exploration, that just kind of ensures that you uh, you know keep exploring and keep learning new things, right? So let's park that concept for a while. So exploration means basically learning new technologies, doing feasibility checks, building POCs and polyglots and uh, you know, platform agnostic. And this is why you see that uh, if, if, when I build uh, these videos, when I show you these videos, these are actual products, small products that I built, and they are all POCs, right? They're all like uh, uh, with new stacks. I'm use, always using different technologies, even with Golang, but I'm always using a different kind of a framework in a different way to build a, uh, build a POC, right? So that's what I'm trying, kind of doing and showing you how you can do that as well. So that's all exploration. Now comes the part of exploitation. So exploitation has two sides. One is the good side of exploitation, the bad side of exploitation. So uh, exploitation is basically the good part is you go deeper into the technology that you already know. You already know some tech stacks and you start going deeper and, and start gaining more and more knowledge of those tech stacks. And you start building more and more complex products with the same tech stacks. And um, after a while, once you have gained expertise in that tech stack, you become an architect, uh, you know, like a site architect or a web architect or whatever for that particular tech stack, all right? Now, there's also a bad side of exploitation that kind of um, is the reason why many people start uh, kind of, uh, you know, fading out in their career. So one is that, you know, you start setting in the same job, which is the same firm, the same team. Uh, by, by job, I mean the job that depends on the company, which is the firm, the team in the team that you're sitting and the product. So if you uh, are in the same firm, but if you change your product, then you, it, you kind, of, kind of have a different job, right? If you are in the same firm, but you uh, keep changing your team, then you're still learning. So it's still, uh, you know, a new job, uh, you know technically all right so but if you're sitting in the same firm the same team the same product for more than three years you're literally your career is dying don't do that you know try and switch in two years at least uh, you know make sure you at least you're working on different products right or uh, you have, you're on a different team anyhow and if you're changing your product uh, if, if you have the same firm same team and the product keeps changing like uh, every one or two years that's a that's a you know sweet spot i mean that's that's a good thing uh, you know and uh, you can try doing that if if that's possible for you if your company is innovating and building new products that is right so um, then the next bad part of exploitation is sitting in your comfort zone where 
um, many times you must have experience right your salary keeps increasing because of demand so there's a market demand for some particular technologies and your salary increases very fast like 10 like 5x 2x like that your salary increases very fast but your your skills have not necessarily grown right or your salary has increased because you've spent more time in that technology but not necessarily your skills have actually grown uh, to what they could have grown in that two to three years right and that's kind of hazardous right that's a bad thing to happen you might think that's really great because you're not actually increasing your skills and uh, because of the time you've spent in that company or you have a brand name now you get a very good salary package but uh, that's a, a bad thing because uh, it's not sustainable and in some time uh, you will start seeing a lot of problems in your career because you won't get the kind of jobs that you want you won't be able to switch your technology that easily you won't be able to work on innovative products you won't be able to you know um, work on more interesting problems basically so that's the bad side of exploitation now spending more time in exploration so i would say uh, here's my recommendation right i would say spending about 70 percent of your efforts on exploration like uh, even if you're doing a job which is exploitation right let's say your job is uh, you're a, you're a golang developer let's say you're a golang developer but still 70 percent of the time you're trying to explore you're trying to say that to your to your boss or to your team that hey let's build a new poc with this kind of a new technology a new stack so 70 percent or, or personally on your own time at least you're learning you're exploring a lot so 70 percent of your effort when i say effort i i don't mean time necessarily but i mean like the effort that you put in like on weekends or after work 70 percent of your time you need to be putting on exploration you need to be doing all of this so that uh, you know you, you keep uh, in improving and enhancing yourself as a as a as an engineer for example right now ai is uh, really doing really well ai or web 3.0 is doing really well right so we'll be building a lot of web 3.0 projects on this channel so stay tuned for that uh, or subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so exploration is what you need to be spending 70 percent of your effort on and 30 percent is exploitation right and exploitation also if you're spending on the good side of exploitation it's still it's still okay it's still good but uh, do not be spending time on uh, like do not be spending effort on the bad side of exploitation exploitation right which is basically sitting uh, in the same job or sitting in your comfort i know it's difficult to um what do you call it uh, quantify it like this 70 percent or 30 percent but uh, in your in your mind you kind of know what you're doing right you know that okay even though i'm sitting in my comfort zone for now for one year but i'm still you know on the side 70 percent i'm uh, like like uh, you know i'm putting a lot of effort i'm doing a lot of exploration so in your mind you would I, i'm not saying it's actually quantifiable this 30 percent 70 percent like that but in your mind you would know that you know okay i'm putting in all this kind of effort so it's uh, you would know where you're getting basically you're, you know you, you would know that you're building all these pocs you're putting them on github let's say a new poc every two weeks or something like that so you would know that you're spending a lot of a lot of more of your effort on exploration right so um, becoming a good developer is a lot of exploration and a lot of good exploitation sorry a lot of good exploitation and uh, becoming a good developer also means that you don't uh, indulge in a lot of bad exploitation which is you know uh, which is um, how can i say it resting on your past laurels or you, you know you've, you've won some awards and now you're like oh i'm the god at this and i i can you know keep relaxing uh, you should never never ever be in that kind of a uh, you know mind space you should always always be uh, improving always be enhancing your tech skills and always be striving to become better all right so that's what I wanted to show you: exploration versus exploitation, and then exploration has good and bad. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure you've already you you've kind of understood the gist of this concept. If you haven't, put a comment below. I'll try and help you out. I'll try to explain it even uh, even more in depth. But I'm pretty sure there's not uh, it's not very complicated. And if you've been in development for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about, right? And we have all been guilty of having some bad exploitation where we're just sitting and chilling out, uh, you know, in the same company because we started enjoying that team or we started enjoying that company. We start, we start getting a lot of perks, you know. You have beer, free free beer in the office or a lot of coffee in the office, whatever. So uh, those are all types of bad exploitation, right? Don't uh, succumb to that those kind of uh, luxuries or, um, you know, th those are basically golden handcuffs. Don't do that. <laughs> okay keep challenging yourself so that's what i wanted to share with you i hope this video is helpful to you and um, do keep watching um, and i'll be posting more often because i've been away for a while and now i'm uh, you know settled so i can keep posting more videos uh, and i'll be soon starting the technology the coding videos as well so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video